We're the Lockwoods, and we're traveling the world to experience up close and in person all the natural wonders and distinct cultures that our kids would otherwise see only in textbooks and TV. It's been 12 months since our first trip to the Philippines' paradise of Palawan, and the off-grid adventure we shared in those Pauline houseboats off Corona Island was honestly one of our favorite family experiences so far. The lack of luxury amenities was the perfect contrast to our previous trips through countless metropolitan areas around the world. Pumping your own toilets can be surprisingly fun when this is the backdrop. But there's an even more famous spot in this province and there's no way we can go another year without seeing for ourselves how it compares. So let's get to it. In El Nido. Adios Manila. Goodbye Manila. This was an awesome stay. We love this little place we found but it's not where we're going to buy. We need a three bedroom if we're gonna be here longer term. So keep up with us, see what we decide, but now we're going to El Nido! You guys gonna miss BGC for this trip? Yeah! Are you excited about El Nido? So we're going to miss our besties, the Ocampos at Mom Duty, but we are excited about El Nido. We've got really fun stuff planned. All right, buddy. Let's do it. I just called our Grab, that's like a Lyft or an Uber elsewhere in the world, except I find significantly less expensive and honestly way nicer and more reliable. I'm not a fan of Uber and Lyft. It's funny what you discover in other countries that do it better than where you're from. I may have spoken a little bit soon because one thing about Grabs, at least in BGC, is they seem to be limited on pickup areas. So when we are here at our condo building and we need to get a ride, it actually tells us that we need to walk down the street to a pickup point. But I just texted our driver and asked if he could come up here to the door because we have luggage and he texted back okay, so he should be coming up in just a sec. We're ready to go. Okay guys, thank you, thank you. There we go. Hi Alan, thank you. We're not 100% confident which terminal this is in. Doing a quick search, it looks like terminal four. That's one thing about the Manila airport. It's, you, you can't walk or take a little tram from one terminal to the next. Uh, and we got it wrong on our last trip out here and had to get a taxi back and it was really close on timing. So it can be very stressful if you pick the wrong one and you need to switch terminals. It's not a quick little exercise. So looks like terminal four for Swift Airlines. We are at the right place and it's super confusing, but I'm pretty confident we're here in the right spot. We're looking for air sweat. I see it over here. No, it's all ours. After baggage, You got some really good moves, buddy. I called the Goofy All Orange Justice. We get little stickers to identify us for going on the right flight. I'm gonna stick it on Phil. Hey guys. I'm having all sorts of problems with my bags today. My suitcase is completely destroyed on the bottom. I'm going to put this one on your butt. And this one's a bit overweight, so I need to move some stuff around. Let's see, what's heaviest? Computer. You can put your computer in my bag. Um, okay, let's try that. Man, that's huge. It's a ginormous <laughs> laptop. Have we just met? <laughs> Double check your name first at the top of your boarding passes here. Mm -hmm. Define your... first. <laughs> Thank you. They're so friendly. And I feel like I want to mention that I had UCC coffee this morning and I am so fiery and happy. There is something in that coffee. If you haven't heard about it, try it if you come here. Otherwise, just look it up. But there's like a secret ingredient they won't tell anybody, and we think it might be some kind of illegal drug because I feel awesome. Air Swift is already easily our favorite Philippines airline, or airlines that, airline that's serving the Philippines. Wouldn't you say, babe? Have we flown with Air Swift before? No, this is our very first time. And so far, it's a really great experience. They're so nice. I think this is my favorite part of the Manila airport so far. What do you think, babe? Aaron's eating a little bit of extra food before we board in probably like an hour. It's good. Yeah, I like this part of the airport too. It just seems friendlier. Gelatinous. <laughs> Super gelatinous. <laughs> this is actually really good. It's time to board already and I'm surprised usually with the smaller airplanes and the shorter flights, you board sometimes 20 minutes before the flight takes off, but we're heading over there 40 minutes early. If usually you board 20 minutes early, technically we did board 20 minutes early just because we boarded 40 minutes early. If usually you board 20 minutes early, technically we only boarded 20 minutes early. Kid math. 
it, this, I think it goes beyond kid math. I think that we're in a special uh, cult math. Actually, wrong flight. It goes so often. This is the one before ours, so we actually will be boarding 20 minutes before the flight. <laughs> Two hours later, we're boarding. There was some weather issues, so the flight was on delay, and there wasn't actually weather where we're going in El Nido. It was the surrounding area, so it wasn't safe for the plane to fly around it. Island hopping in the Philippines is always a crapshoot when it comes to flying because, you know, you just never know with weather, you never know with mechanicals, and I would say we've probably had more flights delayed than not delayed flying in between islands here. Agreed. Air Swift handles delays right though. I tell you what, two hour delay basically, and we had two different snack bags given to us during that period of time. In the US, they wouldn't even give you an apology within the first three hours. That's right. I'm not paying attention. I'm sorry, I'm updating our story because we just announced our meet and greet. So you should register for that. We're gonna give out more information as we get closer. Phil's gonna have to tell you the URL. It's supposed to be early January 2024. Just in case you're watching this video two years into the future, you can go to abcmd.club. That's always be changing, momduty.club. You'll be in the ABC Mom Duty Club. And they're passing out umbrellas to block the sun. Man, the service is top notch at Air Swift. Way to go. Do you want an umbrella? No, thank you. I'm okay, thank you. Thank you. Why did we say no to the umbrellas? I immediately regret this decision. I don't. I love the sun. Thank you. Appreciate it. Where are we, baby? Ready to go. is included with our stay for where we're going, which is a special place. This isn't our first trip to Palawan. We went to Karan last year. You should definitely check that out. It was a really unique experience. We stayed on houseboats in a secluded lagoon. We're doing something equally as different, exciting, and cool. We're gonna do beach glamping for this trip. We've got about a 30 or 40 minute drive to get to the glamping resort, which probably gives us just enough time to cool off before we step back out into the humidity. <gasps> Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, here, take it. I feel like we're in the jungle. We are in the jungle. So that's the check-in area for their sister company, the Nakpan Beach Resort. And we're glamping, so we're gonna be intense. Our toes are already in the sand. And they have cocktails. Oh, I'm hoping for some refreshment. I just, I'm looking for a sign. Found it. I found the beach and the bar. Hello. How are you doing? Thank you. Hi. 
Uh, welcome to Nak. Nice Hello. meeting you too. Welcome to Nak. First ice tea, homie. Too. Ice tea, hey yes. cool. Ice tea, bro. <laughs> hmm. It's like sweet, sour, lemon, lime, mm. sugar. Question. Is he is he like friendly? Does he have any spots that I shouldn't pet him where he'd get a, like aggressive? Yes. There's a lot of dogs down here, but they really don't want you to touch him or feed him. So far, we have a team of five people helping us get to our room right now, to our tent. Colt already has a lizard in his hand. Yeah. He's crying. Hello. Hello. Hi, welcome to Nakba. Hi. Welcome to Nakba. Thank you. No photo or other YouTube video on El Nido has done this justice. Just showing up so beautiful. The colors are off the charts. Hey, how's it going? How cool is this setting? Hey, interesting tidbit. This is the closest that Brooklyn and Colt have ever come to actually camping. Their very first camping is glamping. That's total Lockwood style right there. Actually, I guess we have set our tent up in our backyard for them before. Maybe that counts as the closest, but this is the first real remote experience. We have arrived at our home for the next four nights. We're staying in a tent. <gasps> you gotta come up here and see the view. Yeah. So oh, this is our wow. deck. Yeah. And now this is the view. Woo, so we're gonna take our shoes off before we go in the tent. Heck yeah. Oh. oh. Guess what? It's air conditioned. I can't even tell you how happy that makes me. I mean, that's more comfortable than a lot of the high rise places we were just in in BGC. You know what else is funny that I'm pretty excited about? Is that I've got a hair dryer. Now we're gonna have to talk about the bathrooms in a minute, but I'm very happy to report there's a hair dryer. Or do we climb a tree, dig a hole, and then aim for the hole? The tents all have two queen mattresses and the AC is standard in all of them. There are two safes, complimentary water, tea and coffee, along with a stocked refrigerator with complimentary drinks. Let's be honest, it would probably be pretty unbearable to be in there in the sun and in the heat and the humidity if we didn't have the AC, so should have known better. But you just never know. When we were here in uh, Corona Island, AC was an option in the houseboats, we never used it. Now we'll talk about the bathrooms. So it is a community bathroom for boys and girls. So this is where we're gonna go to go to the bathroom, brush our teeth, and shower. So the format of each one of the bathrooms, and there's one on the front, one on the back, they're identical, is you walk right through these little cowboy doors, and you've got a community sink, and then on one side, a lockable shower, on the other side, a lockable toilet stall. A community bathroom is as rough as it gets here. Everything else is really nice, and clean, and lovely, and beautiful, and pretty luxurious. There's a total of 18 tents here. Even though they're in pretty close proximity to one another, uh, they, it's, you get the sense of privacy because of all the greenery around here. Here's a second building with uh, bathrooms, or as they call them in the Philippines, comfort rooms, CRs. This is so quiet over here. Here's the pool bar, coincidentally, right next to the pool. We're gonna get connected to the secondary Wi-Fi and then reach out via WhatsApp to the office and start booking our activities for this week. We've got a few different things that we can do, like zip lining between two big, are you lost? I'm lost. Isn't it that one? <laughs> we can zip line between two different islands. We can do island hopping. Uh, we can spend some time in town. I think we're gonna try to do all the above. We're gonna head to the beach and we have to lock up before we go. So we have this. We've got to get the two little zippers, put them together, and then we take the key with us. The sand is perfect. It's not too hot, probably because it's getting later in the day, but it's really fine and comfortable on your feet. And the water just looks so beautiful. And to see these little islands out here popping out in the middle of the water, it's paradise. It is absolutely paradise. You have to come here. What are you doing over there, buddy? Yeah, are you actually catching some? Yeah. Cool. They're, they're have, they have two spots, but they're a pretty small body. It's getting a lot deeper, but I see Brooklyn standing up out here, so there must be a sandbar. Come on in. The water's nice. And Brooklyn tried to go out way far, and she could still stand up. 
You know what I love about this? It's secluded and it feels private. And if you're not into the glamping thing, they have the rooms at the resort that's right next door. But I love how at peace it is here. It's just so quiet and you're, you feel like you have the ocean and the beach to yourself. We practically do. 100%, but I'm getting hungry and I could maybe go for a cocktail. <gasps> By the way, they're like, three restaurants on the resort property here and even more if you just want to walk a little bit right off of resort property. Not, Hold on, that's not quite accurate. There's one on this resort property and there's one over there that's a separate uh, property and down there is separate. So there are three within walking distance that we can go to. But we're going to try Knock Pond Beach Glamping Restaurant. Look at me, I'm too lazy to change out of my swim trunks so I practically match tops and bottoms. But not Brooklyn and I. We actually did the whole shower experience. We were smart enough to keep our suits on and we used the shower to rinse off the salt water. There's actually a hair dryer in that too. So it worked out really well, it was easy, and I like the shampoo. What more can you ask for? Locked up and ready for dinner. And a cocktail. But before we eat, we need to pick out a tour for tomorrow. Cause we're gonna do an all day activity day. We have A, B, C, or D choices. Some of them we actually, I think we might have done before. The Secret Lagoon, no we haven't actually. These are all brand new. So tour A. I like the stuff in A. I think we should do A tomorrow. And then I think we might be zip lining on Wednesday, right? Yeah, yeah, Woohoo! Baby wants, baby gets. We're doing A. I'm so excited. I love these activities and I love the kits. I love their faces, they get so excited. They love watching them jump into the water. But this is gonna be in a separate episode, so you gotta subscribe so you see that one when it comes out. Glad we got that out of the way. Still, so hungry, let's get food. All right, so we left the kids alone for about three minutes and uh, this happened. I said I could get a drink. It's a drink, cause I can drink it. It's a dessert in a glass. The restaurant right over here, which is currently under renovation, is very well known in the area. It's a fantastic restaurant. Luckily, I think that the food we're gonna order here tonight is still the same food, it's just a different atmosphere. And turns out we're in a happy hour, so we're gonna get two cocktails for the price of one. Yeah, we get them both at once. Is that how happy hour works here? That's how a happy hour should work everywhere. I got this seafood pasta, Cole got the croquettes. So cheese with like a potato crust, deep fried. And we've got one more thing coming and we're all going to share everything. Yes, I get the Italian spin on this, but I call it American food because this is what we would eat in America tonight. America doesn't have a whole lot of food of its own, so we end up eating a lot of things like pastas and pizzas and... Hamburgers. Hamburgers. Obviously, you're from Hamburg, Germany. We are going to enjoy this beautiful meal, and we'll see you when we're done. Colt's kind of lost, and I think he's back here in the employee area. What is his name, sir? His name is Colt. Yeah. yeah. So we'll find a gecko. Because she, she doesn't scare, he doesn't scare you to get. Cole! 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 We're here at the brand. Where are you now? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. It's time to go get some s'mores. Cole. We don't know that. We don't know that. I know that. Look, I can make a flame art. <laughs> Like a true camping experience, we have a campfire and the kids are roasting marshmallows. So now they cannot say we haven't taken them camping. We don't have to worry about security here 24 seven. This is AG, he's a security guard tonight. He's watching over us, thank you. Shout out. <laughs> we gotta hit the sack though because we have a huge day tomorrow and the next day and probably the next day. So many cool adventures here in El Nido. No shortage of them in Palawan. So we are gonna hit the sack and please subscribe so you don't miss the next couple of episodes so you can see all the epic stuff that we end up doing here. We'll see you then. But we're gonna try knock pan, oh, knock. We're gonna try. We're gonna try knock beach no, glamping knock restaurant. Pond. We're gonna try Knock Pond Beach Glamping but, Restaurant. Keep it, go, yeah, but. But we're gonna try Knock Pond Beach Glamping Restaurant.
<laughs> Which is one free cocktail USD. Because okay. usually I'm like, oh, this is like 1,000 PHP and that's 17 USD. Never mind. Yeah, huh. uh, no, I get it. I know. Forget it. This is Misa Mis. He is, a, am I saying it right? Eiji, Misa Mis. What's your last name, right? Eiji. I mean, uh, this is my last name. Last name. Last What's your name? first name? Eiji. Uh, Can you? Eiji. 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 Yeah, Eiji. 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 You say Eiji, babe. But it's an E. I know, but I see. Language. I see. I got it. Okay.